the crafting event Tokushu Heiki has started. Information about the reward weapons have been posted on the official development blog. And also, the newest changes from this event is that we can earn resource box, which is required to research the vehicles from playing Airsim mode too. As an Airsim maniac, this is one of the best changes. It's a long name, but this is it in the Japanese language. The notable feature is the missiles it carries, called the Igo Ichigata Ots Musen Yudo Bakudan. It has a heat warhead and it can be manually guided to targets up to 12 kilometers away. Wait, it can be manually guided? That's incredibly impressive! Wireless guidance is really interesting, but based on my previous experience on twin engine bombers, we might need some escort by fighters and keep paying attention. Attention to your 6. F100F Super Saber. This jet fighter, a derivative and improved version of the Super Saber, features a dual seat cockpit. One benefit is that if one pilot faints, the others can still take control. It's similar to modern aircraft with a captain and co pilot. However, many might wonder what's the big deal about having two seats. Additionally, it can carry AGM 12 bolt up short range air to ground missiles. Just a moment. Ah, I see. The plane can be equipped with the AGM-12 pop-up and it has 6 hard points to carry various weapons like regular bombs, FFAR rockets, drag retarded bombs, and incendiary bombs. However, it lacks the AIM-9P and has reduced firepower in its fixed armaments. Kurama, thought this on an advanced version of the Tsukuba-class cruiser, this ship is equipped with 4 305mm 40 Kokoshiki Junisun Ho mounted in two dual gun turrets at the bow and stern. Thanks to its thick armor, it also increased survivability. While it seems impressive, there are downsides. It can only reach up to speed of 21 knots, about 39 kilometers per hour, and its reloading time is long. Yup, it definitely sounds like the battleship. Losat, have you heard of an ATGM that doesn't use shaped charge warhead? Negative! Well, it seems to refer to a guided missile that penetrates solely through kinetic energy. So, it penetrates based on the impact? This tank has an interesting spec, isn't it? A unique feature is that the missile flies at a slightly lower trajectory until its engine fully ignites. Due to its reliance on kinetic energy, it lacks sufficient penetration power when fired at close range. Moreover, it can aim vertically and only swivels horizontally. It's an interesting weapon, but it can reach top speeds of 70 km per hour, making it highly mobile. These are what I know about this event related to Tokushu Heiki. Personally, I find the Igo Ichigan Ots Museyudo Bakudan the guided bomb to be a fresh concept as it appears more like a non-guided bomb or rather it seems like launching a small drone which is unique also the low set with its large caliber adgm that penetrates with 100 power is interesting i mean they're both unusual right or at least i've never seen anything like them before probably the crafting event has already started on the 26th so it's just around the corner this video doesn't touch on how to proceed with the event so if you're unsure please refer to other creators or official websites for guidance. The major update, Sons of Attila, was just released a while ago. How do you all find it? I personally find it quite fun. It's now easier to grasp my surrounding environment, which adds to the immersion. I'd love to know what you all think, so please share your thoughts in the comments, discord, etc. Links to this can be found in the description below, so please feel free to join. Also, in the near future, I'm planning to do a joinable livestream for Jet Airson, so I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. That's 